Well, good morning, folks. Hey, the old fisherman, he's back with you. We are the only one in the parking lot. You know why? Because it's supposed to be over 110 heat index today. But we are crazy enough to go fishing when nobody else will. And I'm going to show you what we can do on a steaming hot day. On Lake Monticello, we are going to catch some perch and bass. We are changing over, and I probably got one cardinal sin. I got six pound on this rod with my new reel. I love this new reel. That's what it's uh, Titan too, but uh, Rutchel reel. But uh, I'm gonna use it. I had a crappy jig on here on six pound, but we got 12 pound floral carbon from a swivel down. What I got to watch is my drag, and when I lift them, put them in the boat. I can't find my eight pound test in the boat. So it's somewhere in the boat, but I can't find it. So we're going we're gonna to keep the crappy line on there. Probably going to have a problem with it. But we got a, uh, a quarter ounce head, big head, They're eating on big shad. So we using a two and an eighth inch swimming metal by Charlie Brewer. I got a blue and chartreuse there. We come down under it with a double line. We got a uh, lead under it and we got another big head underneath. I don't like to use nothing smaller than an eight ounce head when I'm fishing this rig. The bigger the head, the better. Like I say, they're hitting big chads. We could probably use a three inch Charlie Brewer swimming uh, I mean, grub and, and, eat, and bite off some of it to make it a little smaller, but they eating big chad and they full of it. And they on the, they eating it up. Yesterday we caught over 150. Had five black bass on, but I didn't get but three of them. Large mouth. And this time of year, I don't throw a lot of largemouth bag unless I do get the limit. I'm going to keep them because they are hard uh, to release. We're not using the drum today. I got two bucket, uh, two ice chests, about half full of ice. We're going to put them directly on ice because yesterday it was just so hot. Uh, you got to have a lot of ice when you come out here to catch these perch. But uh, hey, we're going to see what we can do. Lake Monticello, love and life. God bless you all. Go to stevecumalana.com, my store. I'd appreciate an order. And uh, let's go see if I can teach you how to catch some white perch. And uh, probably the other videos done come up by now. You've seen how I can catch them. All right, but folks. What we doing, we pulling out here, you got a point. Long underwater point runs out here. Right out here on the left side of this point is deep water. And uh, like I say, this is the half blown up bottom screen. You see all this fish in there deep, probably catfish. And these, this screen over here is the uh, clear view. Well, the clear view reacts slower than this screen. So you're gonna see it on this screen before you see it on this screen. So you really got to be going real slow to see it right on the right screen. But uh, what I wanna do yesterday, I got on the fish right in here. Um, right where it comes up on the side of that point right here it's 50 but well, we was between 50 and 25. <coughs> they might not be here today we got a breeze this morning i'm sure they're gonna bite sometime because they feed too much on on shad they feeding on trap fence shad about three or four inches long pretty big ones all of them was full of tread fence shad but now we dropped in this area here after lunch and it was hot as it could be you can see right there all that that's shad Bob's a fish. You see the blues right there. Those blues are individual fish. So you got some perch in there now, probably perch and bass. And 41 foot. I want to pull up here since we got high water on about 25 foot and work down the slope. You see a, a blob of fish right there? That could be shad, it could be uh, a perch. All of these, all this yellows is, is some type of fish. Shad, perch, what have you. That's what they are. So we're pulling up the hill now with 36 foot of water. You see some right down the bottom is probably perch. And blues, probably perch. Yesterday when I come in here, they were just, I started on, uh, on top of the ridge and they were all over. See that blob right there? That's probably perch. See them right there? See all them individual perch? blues there's perch right there's perch that's what we're looking for so we're gonna get up here we're in 29 foot of water you can see right there what i'm talking about all them separate fish them white perch and bass let's see what we can do 
get up here and get everything going. We're using the double rig Charlie Brewer, the swimming minnow right now. I might adapt over real quick uh, to the, uh, uh oh, we got a bunch of ice. What I'm gonna do is put this big thing of ice back here. You can get that much ice right there out of one of them ice machines for $2. If you buy it somewhere else, it could cost you a fortune. We got two coolers in case we catch over 100 fish like I'm planning on doing. I'm gonna put it back here like that. Instead of throwing them in the drum, I'm gonna throw them in the cooler today. That's what we're gonna do. Get this trolling motor out. I wish I had one that deployed itself, but I don't. We need to get a net ready of some sort. I don't care what kind, as long as it's a net. Huh. Now I just laid this rod down. It's already tangled. And that's the way it works. We're going to catch them, folks. I have no doubt whatsoever in my mind that I ain't going to tear them up today. Hot weather in the summertime means hot action with perch. That's what it means. We get everything set. We ain't got no problems. Rods out the way. You get our little uh, remote and make sure it's going. Most time I got to tap it to get it going. I don't know that battery has got to shake around in there, but I see fish all over the place. They right here where they were yesterday when I left. Now there's a lot of large mouth around here. I'm probably going to regret having this six pound main line. I should have at least eight, but we're going to try it. And you can see the fish finder. You can see the fish finder. It's plenty of them down there. Let's get the other camera going. I spend more time messing with cameras. I dropped my camera, slid off the edge of the boat a while ago on this pole, and lo and behold, it uh, scratched the lens. I hope that ain't gonna give me some kind of trouble. That's what I'm hoping. But hey, I hope it ain't gonna be, it's on the edge, it could mess up the, the the uh, camera We've already got a bite hey, he's already there see that that didn't take long did it folks they on fire here again today and we're gonna lay it to them i'm gonna tell you we're going i don't think we got but one but we got one on the first drop and he's a jumbo got him on that blue ice huh what that's what i'm talking about that's when you, you know you're catching them when you drop first time and catch one put him right on ice can't beat that, can you? Drop back down. Drop back down to the bottom where the big girls lie. We're going to lay it to them. Anytime you see fish on a fish find like that, there's gobs and gobs and gobs and gobs and gobs of perch out there. Get them nothing right now. I can't believe I didn't get a bite. Can't believe it. I didn't have enough slant on it. Get a little slant. Get a little slant. They like slant now. Let's get the slant. Get the trolling motor working. Got a breeze though. That's good, I reckon. High water. That don't really affect these fish. High water or these perch. We got two on, I believe, this time. We're using a walleye version of the St. Croix rod, which I like. But the only problem is I only got six pounds, so I'm going to have to watch it when I lift two at a time. It'll break that six pounds. See, two jumbo magnums right there. Y'all see it. Y'all see it. Y'all see it. Huh? What? Oh, boy, we're going to have some fun today. Only problem is I, I, I cleaned fish for over two hours yesterday. That's the only problem. 
And this camera here ain't high enough. Let's get it on up a little bit. Get it on up. All right. Get it down, reel it. All we got to do. See that? Already bit it. He, he got it. He got it. Oh, Lord, he got it. Ain't got but one, though, so far. They'll follow the other one up sometime to hit it right before you get it in the boat. We got to start preparing for another fish fry. Oh, these white perch are non-game fish for people out there that don't know. Think I'm catching over the limit. I'm not going to keep little ones today. I'm going to keep all nice ones. Uh, they think I'm catching over the limit, but it's a non-game fish in South Carolina, and you can keep or do whatever you want to with these fish. So, and not have a problem. That's why I like to catch perch, and they good eat. Good eat, and we got plenty of them in this lake. I thought it was getting out of here, but I was wrong. They obviously been up there in the hot water because they are wide open right now. They're coming out of that hot water because the water's so hot. And uh, and I think that's what they're doing. And so they're moving on down here in the cooler water, and we're laying it to them is what we're doing. Look at that, two at a time. Two at a time. Two at a time. Oh, Lord. I don't want I can put three or four jigs on there. The problem is you get... You get a lot of them on it one time and the bass grabbed it, then you done broke off is what you done done. So, not good to do that. Some people like to use Sabisky rig with worms. I'm not into all that. I tried it, I don't, it's too slow. I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna bait when I can catch them with these Charlie Brewers. Why would I wanna bait worms? So, I'm just saying, we really ain't got the monster perch right yet. I caught some real good ones just there at the other place, but there's plenty of them in here. I mean, they plenty of them, and I know it's gonna be a bass grab in a minute. It's just a matter of when. This walleye rod is perfect for perch. I'm telling you, perfect. Now that's a big one. That's the one like we want right there. We want them that size right there. I fillet them, see? I can fillet them a lot quicker. And I can't scale them. Scaling them is a lot of work. Thirty-five foot right here, and they all on the bottom. They everywhere. There's no doubt they everywhere. It's just a matter of how many we gonna catch. I keep one hit it right there. There you go, hitting again. A lot of times, them bigger ones are up. The bass like up above the perch. So if you get it up without one hitting it, you might catch a bigger fish on up. See, like it, like then I was way up and he, this one hit it. And what is it? Two nice ones. See that? Ow. They school from top to bottom. And they loving anything blue and, and uh, uh, blue eyes. They like that blue eyes color. I tell you though, you gotta know what you're doing. People come over here with people over here yesterday, they ain't catch nothing. I wore them out. I make my ice for when it ain't so hot, but when it's hot like this, you got to have crushed ice. The fish, the fish won't hardly, they can't hardly stand it. Don't get cold enough in them boxes. When you start getting a cooler full, and that's what we're gonna have for days old, as a cooler full, I can guarantee you on that. Hey, yeah. Oh, he nailed it. He nailed it. Once you hook one, you want to come up pretty slow. Hopefully, he'll pull the jig around and you get one on the other. Not, not that time, I didn't. That's a little one. I'm not keeping all them little bitty fish. He big enough to eat now. Don't get me wrong, but I'm not keeping all them. Let them grow. We're going to catch plenty. You can beat the boat to draw them too, but if you got them down that good, you ain't no need to beat the boat. Missed that time.
There he is. He is on the fall. He is on the fall. I want a nothing to grab it, but he ain't. I believe that's a small one too. Unless he coming up. Oh, he got off. Dad, blame it. I don't see them like I did. They might quit quick today. Get them going. Like we got some cloud cover coming in, though. I don't know if that's a good thing or not. I think them, the sunshine, they sky like them jigs better. Tell you, it was bite. Get back in here shallower. Might got too deep. I'm not seeing them though. The whole school moved. We might have to ease around and get back on them. They're out here somewhere. There you, there you goes. That's a nice one right there now. That's a good one. Oh my, that's a good one. Feels like it anyhow. I got two, that's what it feels like. But they two good ones, see that? Two jumbos. Two jumbo magnums. Is what they are. Get another jumbo magnum. Dang, gum it. Wind blowing like crazy, folks, but we out here trying to pick up a few perch. I seen some coming in on the fish finder, so I know it's a couple in there. We get them to bite. The wind picked up. All of a sudden, the fish stopped biting. We was catching them, so I had to move. And now I can't get on no fish. I see a few down there, but they ain't act like they want to bite. That wind messing them up. I think the still it is, the better it is. It got cloudy too. They kind of, they can't skylight it is what it is. See if we can find them. I wasn't expecting for it to be windy. All I could hear was hot. They didn't say nothing about the wind, but it got windy. The breeze feels good, but the fish ain't biting. They want it blistering hot and still. Believe it or not, it's what they want. All right, folks. There's the sun pops back out. I think that'll help us. I had a nice bass on, but somehow or another broke off. I don't know. I ain't got back in 40 something foot of water now we're too deep. Gotta get back up. Get back up on this hill. See if we catch a nut. There you There he goes. Oh my. There he goes. There he goes. Oh my. Nice one too. That's the kind we're looking for right there, folks. Bigger than what we caught over yonder. Got back out. Let's see if we get another Jumbo Magnum. Like 
rain coming to me. There he is. Got him. Oh my, got him. He ain't as big as the last one. He ain't, he ain't bad though. He's a keeper. He's a keeper. He's a fillet. Oh, calm down. You had it. You had it now, buddy. You had it now. Man, it's charged. Hey, hey. That might push us to the bank for a little bit. A storm in the morning. Ah, storm. It's lightning over there. I ain't believe it. It's gonna rain. Get thunder. And fish. There's a fish. That's a nice one too. That is nice right there. That's a jumbo. Super dog, man. Dog gonna rain coming, I'll tell you that. We gonna get wet, Jack. We gonna have to take cover. Look that wind was blowing out of something. I listen to Weatherman all morning, all they talking about how hot it's gonna be. They ain't say nothing about no thunderstorm this morning. Dang. There's thunderstorms. I hope it don't make it here. I hope it goes on up the lake. That's a black, black, black cloud. Golly. That's like an afternoon cloud in the morning. That was like a bunch of rain to me. Coming. With a bunch of wind. And a bunch of fish done quit biting too. Might be two hours before that gets over here. Maybe it'll fade away, it won't come. It's set back there. Let's hope. Folks, a storm's coming. Crappy to get off. I'm talking slap crappy. And a storm is coming. Another one. Got another. They out there and they biting too. They, they out there and they biting they slabs. Lord have mercy. And a storm is on the way. Hey, today, what kind of dilemma we got going on here? Look at the storm coming yonder. Hey, day. And the crappers is here. Mm -mm -mm. They bite too. Yeah, they, they killing it for the storm, y'all. Killing it. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Killing it. Ah, this darn storm. up my fishing trip what it's gonna do and they didn't call for it neither
fish is down there too. We ain't gonna catch them. I lost a slab right before I got the camera going. Playing with the camera trying to get in on, I lost it. Hey, yeah, got it. Hey, out there. I'll tell you that. They got the nice ones, too. Must be a hurricane, a tornado in that day, you don't think, we might have to go. We gonna have to go. We gonna, have to go. We gonna get subject to get poured on. And the fish is eating it up. We gotta get out of here. We're gonna get in some bad dilemma. If you don't get out of here. That's a crying shame, ain't it folks? Got fish all up on them and the wind blowing so hard and the storm's coming, we got to get out of here. Let's see if we can catch a couple after the rain. Already got a bite. First, first pull. Already got one. Two of them. One time. Look at that. Jumbo, too. One of them is. One of them's a jumbo. You gotta love that. Jumbo. Jumbo. I'll back down. We need to shovel our ice up a little bit. Good Lord. See if I can't get some of this ice up. Finally got him swallow it. It might be little. That's a little one. That might be the problem. They ain't getting it in his mouth. That's a nice one. That's a good one. I think. Might not be as big as I think. I don't know. Oh yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one. Seem to be hitting that blue as good as they was. They're 24 foot right there, and it's fish all over the edge of that thing. That drop. There he goes. There he goes. You get a nut. That's a little one there. That's a little one there. He's not even pulling. Coming up. What are you coming up? I'm not going back. Let's see if we can get a little bit of footage with the battery charger unplugs. What I mean, 
They on it. They eating it up. I'm telling you, I knew they would be. That's a big fish. That's a, that's got to be a bass. Oh my goodness. That's got to be a bass. If it ain't, it ought to be. Oh my, look at him going great. Day, I better loosen some drag. That's got to be a bass. I ain't got my net out. Lord have mercy, I don't know what I got, but it's a big one on the big old bass at the bottom. Look at that. Bass on a big old perch. They on fire. They on fire. Y'all see it on fire after the rain. That's why I come unloaded the boat back. Look at him. Huh? Look at that. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Hey. We're going to wax them. Is what we're going to do. We're going to wax them. Full moon today. That's why. I told y'all, full moon is the way to go. New moon, full moon, fish all under that 30 foot. We're going to kill them. All we got to do is throw it down and reel it up. <sighs> the Charlie Brewers, two and eight inch swimming metal with a quarter ounce head on it. But it get down. What I like about the quarter ounce head, it's heavier when, I, when it's dropping, it's swimming. That's what I like about it. We're in 30 foot of water and the fish are everywhere. I don't know if you can see that fish finder or not, but they everywhere. They're all over the bottom. I mean, they in the... We're going to catch one soon to start reeling it. See that? what I tell you? Probably get a nudding on it. Right there goes a nudding, I think. Yep. There goes a nudding. They down there right now, buddy. After that rain, they on fire. Oh, bass spit it out. Doggone it. That was a big old bass. He spit it out. And the other one got off at the same time. I had two on. They on fire down there now. If you look at that fish finder, you can see that left screen. That's traditional blown up bottom. Look at that blues and stuff on the right screen. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. How many fish is down there? They all over the place down there. All we should have to do is reel it. There is. What I tell you? They, they there and they hot. Oh my goodness, they on fire after this rain. Look at that, look at that, what a perch. Look at that, look at that top perch. Big old perch. Big old perch. What? Big old perch. Hey, they fishing after the rain can't beat it. Can't beat it, not with a stick. And they killing these Charlie Brewers, folks. If you ain't got your Charlie Brewers, you need to stack up, stock up with some Charlie Brewer jigs if you're gonna fish perch. They are perch and bass killers. Crappers will hit them too, but I do better with the other ones on the crappers. I hate to say that, but but they got their hey, they got their purpose. And them bass and uh, and perch love Charlie Brewers, especially this time of year. Man, that fish finder's covered. They down there thick as hair on a dog's back. What I'm talking about. Lord have mercy. All you got to do is get it down and pull it. One going to hit it. There he goes. He hit it. There he is. Missed it again. There he is. Got him again. They killing it. I mean killing. Absolutely killing it. Didn't get but one. Oh, we got two. We got two. One grabbed it right then. Right before I picked to put him in the in the boat. Oh, Lord. Two more. Two at a time. Oh, my goodness. They on fire. They on fire. They are on fire. They tearing up this jig, too. I'm trying to rehook it. Keep it going. Oh, Lord. I found out long ago these big heads are a lot better for the Charlie Brewer jig. A quarter ounce. Big hits. You can go eight, but the quarter's even better. Quarter's even better, y'all. Hey, we're going to fill the cool up in about 30 minutes, I believe. And I know the crappers is biting, too, but I can't go over there and fish for crappers when I'm catching these kind of fish. Bass and perch. I can't do it. There he is. Got him. As soon as you drop it down, that one takes it. They on double fire. Like I said, you could have three jigs on, catch three or four or five or six at a time. But the problem is, 
they're going to break off and then it's going to cause you more anguish. So I think you're better off at least 12 pound test for leader in between. I got six on the main line, so the main line don't have to be that big. As long as you don't try to pick up a big old bass or something with six. But the, the bottom line is the key. That fish is stacked up out here, buddy. I don't mind telling you, it's stacked up out here. And we gonna catch them. Since as soon as I start pulling it, one grabs it, they, they hitting it right now. They, they hitting it. They ain't taking it. Get down, get down. We're gonna pull it above them. They running up after it. I hope no more storms come. There he is. There he goes. Probably catch the devil out of them bass with it. Money, money. There he goes. Calm down, boy. Calm down. Ah, careful. There you Got him. Oh, my. Got him. Got him. Got him. He ain't got but one, though. He ain't that big. Got him on that white. He, he ain't that big, though. Go back. All right. I'll oh, come off of that. Let's try nothing. We ain't got up in 23 foot of water. That might be a little shallow. One hit it. Hit it again. Oh, they up here shallow. They done moved up here on top of the ridge. That's where they are. That's where they are. That is where they are, folks. Two of them. One time. Look at that. Jumbos, too. One of them is. One of them's a jumbo. Get a little of that. Jumbo. Jumbo. Drop back down. We need to shovel our ice up a little bit. Oh, Lord. See if I can't get some of this ice up. Back down. There he is. He hit it. Hey, hitting at it. And he ain't taking it. The world's going on. Hey, there he is. Finally got him to swallow it. It might be little. That's a little one. That might be the problem. They ain't getting it in his mouth. There he is. That's a nice one. That's a good one. I think. Might not be as big as I think. I don't know. Oh, yeah. That's a good one. That's a good one. They don't seem to be hitting that blue as good as they was. 24 foot right there, and there's fish all over the edge of that thing, that drop. There you go. There he goes. That's a nice one. Yeah, 
That is a nice one. They ain't hitting that blue like they was. All right, folks. We're over here on the crappy brush. Let's see if there's any crappy still here. Right before the storm come, I dropped right here and caught several with it coming. But they might not be doing nothing now. But it was some crappies. I see a few crappies on the spot out there. See if we can get up here and, and catch one of them. Gonna give this a quick try and then we can go back to the perch. I hit, hit a couple spots right quick for crappies. See if they biting after this rain. Caught a couple perch over there after the rain and then they quit. So, I don't know. They might not be doing that now. If that storm would have held off, I believe I could have tore them up right in here. They was in here. Got a current in here today, a big current. Can't hardly pull the boat. Wind's going one way and the, and the current's going another. Okay, let's drop it straight down right there. Right there's where one ought to be if he's here. Right in there. There he is. There he is. He's in there. There he is. Oh my, there he is. What? A good one too, buddy. That's a good one. That's the kind you read about in crappy magazines. I mean, bigger. That's the kind we're looking for right there. Slab ooses. I'm talking slab booses. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. I mean, a whopper. Look at that. That's the kind I want right there, folks. That's the kind of makes you stay fishing for crappy instead of perch. He was on top. Look how much I done pulled back since I dipped that fish. Wind blowing one way and the current going another. Hey, let's see if we can catch. Uh oh. Oh, go on, thing wrap around my. Hey, let's see if we can catch one casting up there. If they biting that good, they might hit casting today. Let's, let's cast across. There's some big fish out there today. That current is pulling my jig sideways. I'm going to have to go back up there with it straight down. I can't get it down. It's pulling it. They must be pulling water. Get back up there. We can catch another big one like that. Man, that's a pound and a half fish. That, that's the kind I'm looking for. I had a big one on messing with it up here when that cloud come in and uh, trying to get the cameras on and the doggone fish got off messing with cameras. Them cameras cost me a lot of fish. Right there's where they're gonna be if they're here. Right there. They is. They there. But they want it straight now. That's a big one, too. That's a real big one. That's another whopper. Oh, my. That's another whopper. Hey, they what a crappy. What? If that's a crappy, that's a whopper. And it's a crappy. I mean a slab. Oh, Lord. Come back here, boy. Two pounder. Oh, my God. The big ones are moving in. The whoppers are moving in, folks. And they killing that dog on a, a slab happy lure, blue ice G, killing it. I got to call that boy. I need some more of these blue ices. It's good. Ah, look at that. That, my friend, is a slab boost crappy. Where the doggone buoy? I think the boat's done went over the buoy. I don't want that to happen. Get back off of him. I don't know where the buoy's at, but his boat's over the top of it. A lot of times that boat will get around and mess you up. Oh, there it is, back in there. Okay, we all right. I tell you, that, that current's pulling me so fast I couldn't even see where it was. They killing this blue ice today. Man, they killing it. See, we get another one. That, my friend, was a slab ooze. Hey, day. 
See that, that slab happy lure jig is a little bit bigger than Bobby Gold, and I love it. I ain't got many of them, but I love it. All right, folks, pull on another brush over here. Let's see if we can catch some of these crappers. This ain't a rock here, this is an old brush I put out. Let's see if we can catch any on. This crap is right there. They ain't biting. Might not be down to them. They down on the bottom. Them definitely crappers. I can guarantee on that. They ain't biting. It's laying there. They ain't biting. Whole school of them laying there. Ain't touching. Put a different color out there. Sometimes on a dark day, you got to go with a green. See if we can get them bite that green. Before we give up on them. It's crap there. There's a few there. I don't know how big they're going to be. But we won't know if they can't get them to bite. For sure. So far, they ain't biting. I had had the first bump, and there's probably 25, 30 crappers down there. They gonna quit biting. There you Finally got one to take it on a green. Finally got him to take it. Old green got him. Come here, boy. Y'all see it? Y'all see it? Let's put some slime on there, see if that'll make him bite it. Gone rascals. I see them. They're down there. Back up. They didn't hit that blue ice. They was hit. No, they. That's the reason sunshine and blue ice about it. All right, let's put it back out. We get another. I guarantee it's something down there. I see them. Hey, got it. Make them bite. That's all we do. Make them bite. Got to make these suckers bite. They don't want to bite. Got him. Oh my. Got him. Got him. All right, nice crappy. Calm down, boy. Calm down, boy. Hitting that old green. Trusty green. Got to love old trusty green. All right, folks. Pull over the last brush of the day. Let's see if we can catch anything. It looked like some on it. That's all I can say. That's the reason I've stopped. It might scoot off of it, but it looked like fish all over it to me. We're gonna drop the Bobby Garland out the green. It's, it's a few fish on it. And they they 20 foot down. It, whether they bite, I don't know. They didn't want to bite the last place. Get back up. 
back up here. Crap is all over that bottom. There he is. Maybe I wasn't getting down to him. I got down and got him. That's a good one. Oh my! That's a good one. That's a slab right there, buddy. That is a big one. If that's a crappy, that's a big one. Might be a catfish. No, it ain't. It's a slab crappy. Hey, what a crappy, folks. Them to kind of read about and swear crappy magazine. I don't think my lid's big enough. I ain't getting down to these fish. Too much current. We need to put more lid on the. Look at that slab boost. That, my friend, is a slab boost. What? Red.